Hey guys, so the topic for today's discussion is weighted average cost of capital. It is mostly asked in ACCA skill level FM paper as well as in AFM paper. So let us understand this with the help of an example. Any company uh, to carry out its operations, it would need some funds. So from where can it raise funds? Number one, it would be equity shares, preference shares. It can also issue debentures and it can also go for long term borrowing from bank. Okay. Now we are using this fund, so instead of the using this fund, what we need to do is we need to pay something and return to these security holders or the debenture holders. So this is nothing but my cost, cost of capital what we say. To equity shareholders, I will have to pay dividend. To the debenture holders, we pay interest. So this is nothing but my cost of capital, the capital which I raise to carry out my operations. So now let us understand that why is this calculation of weighted average cost of capital important for us. For example, a company like Coca-Cola, it wants to invest in some country. Okay, it wants to open up a manufacturing unit in a country like India. So unless and until its return on investment does not exceed the weighted average cost of capital, it won't be investing it, right? Let us take an example that the average cost of capital, it comes out to 15%. But if I am investing and I getting a return on investment of 12%, would I like to invest? No. Why? What I'm earning is 12 and what I'm paying out as a cost of capital is 15. So in this case, the weighted average cost of capital helps or acts as a hurdle rate. It becomes a deciding factor. Anything beyond weighted average cost of capital will be good for a company because this is something that the company earns extra, right? Okay. So let us now understand the formula for weighted average cost of capital. The weighted average cost of capital, the formula would be, now see, the capital that is used in the business, for example, a $1 million is invested. Out of that, certain proportion will be from equity shares. Some proportion would be out of debentures, okay? So equity shareholders and debentures I'm paying certain costs. So in both the cases, what I will be doing is I will be calculating a weighted average cost of capital in proportion to the funds used. Okay. So what we do is we assign some weights and then calculate a cost of capital. So this is all about weighted average cost of capital. Hope you like this video.